Brilliant. So this is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined once again by Jez Smith. Uh, not far off going out to Spain, I believe. Is it tomorrow you're leaving? Yeah, tomorrow we leave. Um, about, I think it's about late afternoon we leave. So um, and arrive there just, just before the evening, I think. Big fight against a, a Spanish ticket seller in Kerman Lejaraga. Um, known for filling out venues in Bilbao. This one's actually in Barcelona. And I guess there's not yeah. going to be as many fans as we're used to expecting for his fights anyway. But a, a tough fight and one that you could have been forgiven for not accepting. Coming off that win over Ben Ridings, it looked like things were starting to open up for you. But you're going to an away show once again. How did it all come about? You know what? Well, straight after the fight with uh, Ben Ridings, you know, I took that fight on short notice. So I got myself uh, straight in the gym straight away, waiting for an opportunity because, you know, Eddie said this winner stays on now kind of thing. And obviously you might get um, short notice uh, on fights. So I just wanted to stay ready. Um, and then I got a call asking if, you know, if I, I can have a full camp to fight, fight Kerman. So um, it was a, it was a fight I wasn't going to say no to. Yeah. He's um, boxed at a higher, much higher level than me. Um, but, you know, I've always said, these are the fights that I want to be in. So I wasn't going to say no to any fight. And, you know, once I go out there and, and do a job on him and, and win on Friday, and uh, what doors are going to open for me, you know? And he was kind of banging everyone over um, as European champion, and he lost those two yeah. fights to Avenesian. And since then, I right. think two of his three wins have gone the distance. Do you think mm -hmm. some of that kind of aura of invincibility has been removed now? Um, I don't know. I can't answer that question, you know. Um, but what, what, I can, what I can say is that I do believe that we've seen the best of him and we haven't seen the best of me. Um, and I believe now I'm maturing into a much better fighter, an all round fighter. I'm getting stronger, you know, as each fight goes on. And now I've moved down to the weight that I should be fighting at. I really believe I'm going to be a dangerous threat in the 154 pound division. And is this fight made at the championship limit of 154? Or is it a bit over? Correct, 154. And you've been wanting to get a, a good fight at that weight for a while now, haven't you? You were well to previously, came back, and you've had to take fights at middle. Ben Ridings was up near super middle, and now yeah, finally at 154, yeah. you must be pretty happy about that. Yeah, I'm well happy, you know. It was nice to get a um, to get a full camp, um, and, you know, obviously it got pushed back as well, so I got more time to prepare. Um and I always said to people, when I get down to 154, I believe that's, that's the division where I can push my name out there and prove to people what sort of fighter I am. And I do believe that on Friday, you'll see the best Jess Smith in that ring, you know, physically and mentally, I'm in the best shape possible. And how have you been feeling in sparring particularly and, and training camp generally? Now you're a bit lighter as you come down towards 154. You know, I know every fighter says it, but it, it's been a fantastic camp. You know, I, I can't complain. You know, um, everything's gone to schedule. Obviously, we got pushed back a little bit. So, but other than that, it, you know, it's gone perfect. I, I couldn't ask for a better camp. Sparring's been fantastic. Um, some quality rounds in. Uh, so, yeah, I just, uh, everything, you know, I'm, I'm hitting all targets. I'm, I'm, um, yeah, I'm ready uh, and I can't wait to get in there and, and show people what, what I'm about on Friday. And you said generally you're maturing, developing into a, a really good fighter, an improved fighter. What do you put that down to? I believe that. I just, uh, you know what, I've, I've started to take the game more seriously. You know, I believe at the start I was mucking about too much, you know, not taking my training camps seriously like mucking about with the weight etc not doing things right um since i've moved over to jab boxing with josh burnham you know he's taken me to a you know another level you know with, with the things i'm doing that uh, you know I've, I've got a strength and conditioning coach here in neon samuels who, who's doing an awful lot for me you know we um he, he's great fantastic he's got me in great shape also got um our seconds coach aaron woodcock uh, who's a uh, 
doing a lot of stuff for us down at the gym, you know, helping out and that. But, you know, it all comes down to moving down to jab and, and I couldn't thank my head coach enough in Josh Burnham of, of what he's done for me. You know, he's got me back behind my boxing. He's got me doing the stuff that I should be doing, you know, taking it seriously, making sure that I'm doing everything right, you know, on me to make sure I'm doing my rounds, on me to making sure I'm eating the right food. So, yeah, big, big, big shout out to my coach, man. He, he's done loads for me and, and I believe you're going to see the best of me on Friday. Now, if it all does go well on Friday night for you out in Spain, what sort of doors do you feel that could open for you going forward? Who knows? I want, do you know what it is with me? And I, I, I've always said it. I just want to be in an exciting fight. You know, there's some, the, the British scene at the moment for like middleweights is booming, you know, and these are the fights that I want to be in. And by going out on Friday and doing a job on Kerman, who's been at a higher level than a lot of these, you know, the British fighters, shows that I can mix with these. So just give me the opportunity to keep showcasing my skills, uh, you know, and you never know, you know, match them, you know, it'd be nice to be offered a contract or something like that, or I just want to, I just want to fight. I want to be an exciting fight and you're going to see an exciting fight on Friday and, and a Smith victory. And you mentioned the British light middles there, um, Fowler, Cheeseman, Fitzgerald, who's the best of the three? Ah, you can't you can't <laughs> throw that at me. You know what? They're all as good as each other. They they've all got their certain things they do uh, well. Um, it's it, it's a great division to be in. Uh, it's an exciting division to be in for all of them. You know, for myself. So you know, you've even got Eggert in there who, who, who's now climbing back up. You know, for all of us there. You know, there, there's some great fights to be made. Um, it's exciting. And I want to be part of that. So my main goal at the moment is to concentrate on Friday, get that job done, and then see where we can go from there. And albeit not wanting to make too many kind of proclamations about other fighters, there's another big fight at Super Welter around the same time as yours, uh, Kieran Smith in the final eliminator for the British title against Troy Williamson. That's a fight a lot of people in the trade are looking forward to. What, what do you make of it? Yeah, cracking fight. You know, I've... Uh, I've always offered, you know, offered my services to uh, Troy Williams on, on Twitter a couple of times and said if, if they want to fight. Or I know obviously he, he's doing what he's doing. Uh, he's got a, he's got a tough fight in Kieran, so um, it'll be a cracking fight, and it'll be one that I'll tune in to watch. And you know, once I come through my fight, who knows if it, if an offer gets made or, or we can make a fight with any of them, or like I said it. Anyone's on the match from the side, you know, your Fowlers, Cheeseman, Fitzgerald, or or that side, you know, you, you have Troy Williams, Kieran Smith, you've also got Hamza Sharice. Um, if any of them can be made uh, uh, and there's a good offer on the table, then uh, let's roll. Let's roll the dice, man. Let, let's play. You know me, I'm always, I'm always game for a fight. And, uh, and the thing is with me is that you'll always know that it's going to be exciting. You know, I can, I can box, I can fight, so, and I'll, and I'll bring it. And can we watch your fight back here in the UK, the Friday night show? Yeah, you tune in to it's live on the zone. Is it the zone? The zone? Whatever. How zone, you yeah. say it? Yes, it's live on the zone. So yeah, everyone tune in and, and make sure you uh, watch it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great night. And you know, you've got some cracking fights on it, you know, not just mine. You've got two European title fights. So, you know, Matchroom are doing a great job at the moment, you know, with, with all the shows. They're all great shows. So make sure you tune in to watch it. Great stuff. And just before I let you go, just remind people out there how they can find you on the different social media platforms so they can find out a bit more, especially as the fight comes closer. Have a look on my um, my Twitter. I think it's JessSmith1 or my Instagram. That's JSmithy994. Um, you know, I'll be posting stuff during the week, uh, especially tomorrow we, we, we fly out. So I'll be posting stuff on there and I'll keep everyone updated and I'll let everyone know the fight schedule towards the end of the week. Great stuff. All right, well, I look forward to watching you in action. I can't believe I had to ask you where it was. I kind of thought that the other two European title fights were in Italy for some reason. I don't know why I had that in my head. Uh, <laughs> Gavin McDonnell and Kay Prosper have both been on the channel recently. They're going for European glory on the same Yeah, they are, yeah. Great show overall. It's, it's, going to be, it's going to be a great night for the Brits. And, you know, it's St. George's Day that day, so we'll be bringing it home for sure. 
A so, British hat trick, hopefully. A hundred percent. Great stuff. All right. Well, yeah, I look forward to speaking to you again after the fight and, and very best of luck. Thank you very much. Cheers. Pleasure, Take mate. Care. Cheers. Bye-bye.